Hello, hello to all the amazing YouTube people, the Niamh here with another Cards of Owl Tropical Island video and today I'll be doing a little bit something different. This will be like an introduction to uh, new players to this game, like what character to pick, what to play, how to play, what to do next. So yeah, let's play here and uh, let's talk a little bit about it. So when you start a new game, you're not going to have any characters, you're going to pick one of the safe slots. And then you will have a choice here between these three. Below that are my pre-made characters, you can freely ignore that. So you can choose between Islander, you can choose between Tourist, and you can choose between Mermaid. And the developer made it atmospheric, so the, there is no more easy, medium, hard difficulty for the game. There is controlled, overwhelmed, and desperate. This is to make it more atmospheric, right? Here you can see the perks for the character. You can see a little bit of the uh, backstory. Backstory doesn't matter. The perks is all that matters uh, when you want to pick your character. Now, to make it simple, controlled uh, means it's easy. Overwhelmed means it's like medium to hard. Uh, desperate means it should be pretty much impossible. Um, however, if you're an experienced player, Mermaid is not really that hard and the Tourist is a little bit tricky on the start, but it's not a big deal. But these two definitely for experienced players, so don't pick them as your first character. You can pick Islander. You can also create a new character here. However, uh, most or maybe even all of the perks will be locked at the start of the game and you will need the meta currency to unlock it. So when I click on these perks here, you can see uh, next to the perk how much you need to unlock it. So, for example, let's see, if you want to be an archer, you need 10 suns. You get one sun for every day you survive in the game. So you can just uh, take any character in and just play, 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 and you will get these suns over time. So any of these, you will be able to unlock. However, some of them make the game easier, some of them make the game harder. So it is important to know that. Obviously, things that say good at something will make it easier. Also, uh, if there is a minus point in front of the perk, it will make the game easier. And if there is a plus point, let me see, uh, let's say extreme rain, it will make the game harder. <laughs> Although, let's say leg fracture is definitely one that will make the game harder a lot, start with a broken leg. So you can go through the list of the uh, perks here. Uh, at the end of the, this video, I will go through all the perks and uh, talk a little bit about them, so yeah. Uh, let's continue here. So at the start you will not have this unlocked, so you will have to play with uh, with either a vanilla character, which will have like zero perks, or you will have to play with uh, one of these three, which have some perks. Okay, uh, I'll talk about Islander now uh, to have you uh, to give you an idea of what you can expect from it. So Islander, it's uh, one of the original inhabitants of, of the island. So I think this one starts you with. Uh, you start without clothes. Uh, this one is kind of a negative perk because you can rip down the clothes and make bandages from it and like feet and uh, and arm wrappings, but doesn't really matter too much because you can explore the rocks and find the cave and you will find some clothes there. Then uh, it has dark skin. This is a positive perk, protects against the sunburn. You will be able to stay on the sun way more than you usually would. Basically, you can carelessly explore, mostly in my experience, uh, without worrying to get sunburns with this one. Optimistic, morale should really not be an issue. This is a huge positive perk. There should be like no problems. Then we got climber, good at climbing. This will help uh, you get uh, coconuts by climbing the palm trees. Uh, do train a little bit first or you're gonna get damaged. Uh, swimmer, good at swimming, you can uh, more easily explore the shipwreck and you can also find things in the ocean by swimming like stones and seashells and stuff. Spearfisher, this one is a big one. Uh, you are good at spearfishing, so from the start of the game you will have easy access to fish. Uh, spearfighter, good at spearfighting, uh, you will be very good at killing things with the spear. Uh, you are strong, have a strong immune system, so it will be much harder to get sick. You have a bug resistance, so you will get bug bites way, way less. And finally, you are a rough sleeper, so you are immune to back pain. So you don't even have to make a bed for yourself, you can just sleep on the floor. So this is like a very, very easy character to start with the game and get yourself uh, acquainted with what you're doing. So when you start the game, there are still some threats. Uh, 
namely you will be hot and you will get dehydrated starting with this character will not help you in any way to not get dehydrated so that's just what should be your first focus don't get dehydrated uh, you also start with two tools here which is pretty cool you can use the stone spear to fish and you can use the hand drill to start fires uh, once you make a campfire make sure to read uh, the survival guide if anything is unclear and uh, yeah at the start of the game i suggest you go and wash yourself and you should do this every time your uh, bar here becomes very hot okay now we have a wet leaf skirt that will gonna keep us hydrated oh uh, the islander also starts with a water jug so you can drink from it a couple of times i believe yeah two times so that's gonna help you with your hydration okay cool so the start of the game don't do any silly stuff like uh, spear fishing and things like that you really want to explore you want to find some coconuts you want to find uh... so you want to find two stones you want to grind them together to make a sharp stone that will be a really really important tool and uh, you want to find a coconut and drink from it there we go peel it off with a sharp stone takes fast you can make a hole in it and you can drink it and that's gonna hydrate you a little bit as well however as you saw there you cannot really drink too much coconuts you will get diarrhea you can crack the coconut open and eat it uh, but that will like reduce your ability to drink them since it also gives you a little bit of diarrhea here but it's a nice early way to access uh, food and water okay we are hot again so it's been like three three and a half hours so i'm gonna go and wash myself again to be chill if you wash yourself like every three hours or so your hydration will go down way slower and you will have way more time to explore the game and figure out where to get the water there will be rain guaranteed on the second day and you will be able to fill up your coconut shells with rainwater by clicking on them and clicking on fill with rainwater and that will last you for a couple of days uh, if you have enough of them. But after that, you will have to explore and figure it out yourself. If you want, you can ask me in the in the comments below this video about details where to get water how to get it how to build campfire i also have plenty of tutorials there are also in-game tutorials that i made you can go here under videos for hydration health nutrition general basics i also have some series that i kind of like you can also go and watch those but if it's easier for you to just ask ask below this video i will answer all the questions you ask i'm also very active on the forum so you can ask there as well this is a beautiful beautiful game and uh, i would like as many people as possible to play it and enjoy it uh but yeah i'm not gonna spoil anything else here i think this game is uh, most fun to explore on your own uh don't get too worried if you die uh, early on in the game you will get that those sun currencies let me sleep here for eight hours to show what i'm talking about so as you can see here hotness meter went up and my water will start draining more fastly don't worry too much about the the hunger bar when it goes uh, out you will not die um it is a complicated system so it is kind of important that uh, you keep yourself fat but um, it will not kill you so don't worry too much about that so let me just pass some time here as you can see islander does not get back pain when sleeping on the beach so that's like a huge deal you don't have to worry about that too much now we are super hungry that's uh, long term that's really bad because you're gonna lose your weight and die but it takes like weeks for that to happen so don't worry we're gonna take another nap here just to show the rain and then we're gonna wrap uh, it up there we go light rain you can click this you can collect rain do it for the stack after 15 minutes this thing will fill up 16 percent so like in an hour or so it will fill up to full and then you can easily drink from it obviously ideally instead of sleeping for like 24 hours like i did you want to get more coconuts and fill this up so you have some reserves you also want to explore and find out about what the game has to offer the game um, gives you a non-rng solution to almost every challenge you will face in the game so as long as you explore and learn you will learn how to handle it anyhow that's gonna be it for the showcase of sharpened stone uh coconut and collecting rain i'm gonna exit here now and i'm gonna be talking a little bit about the perks uh, in depth so if um, if you don't want to listen to me about the perks you are free to go and play enjoy yourself ask whatever you need and i'll talk about oh yeah by the way i did not show possibly 
7.30. I'm gonna wait here for half an hour. So at 8 a.m. each day, or was it 6 a.m.? You should get a currency for like surviving the game. I don't know, I didn't see it show up. But in any case, you get one sun for every day you survive in the game. At least that's what it used to be. And you get one moon for every 30 days you survive in the game. You have to reach day 30 to get a moon. So that's a harder one. So that's a harder one. So if you see uh, a perk, uh, if you see a perk which uh, requires you, if you see a perk which requires you to collect uh, a moon, uh, you will need 30 days. So we'll, you will need to survive from day one to day 30. It does not uh, like transfer from run to run. So you will get one on day 30, 60, 90, 120, 150 and so on. So moons are way harder to grind than, than the suns. Uh, but I, I suggest not grinding. Just play the game. Don't think about it. After a time you will have some suns and you will be able to use them. Uh, okay, and then uh, yeah, then you will go into the into the perks here, and you will try to pick some. I will like talk a little bit about some of the favorite perks I think are best for the start of the game. And yeah, <laughs> keep note: a life raft, uh, amazing early game perk. Uh, if you can like survive for ten days in the game, so just play, 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 and you will go up to ten suns. Buy this one first not much to think about. There is a life raft full of supplies. There are food rations there, there are water rations there. If you're struggling with the game, this will definitely help you survive for longer. Parachute jungle, jung uh, jungle, this is a hard perk. Avoid it unless you know what you're doing. It's a difficulty perk. Parachute highlands, this is a hard perk. Avoid it unless you know what you're doing. Plant crash, this is a hard perk. Um, avoid it unless you know what you're doing. Also, the game has moons to lock this up so any new player will not be able to get them and this is fine you have to survive for 30 days before you unlock them they're pretty hard totally change the game up and uh, at the start anyway then we got extreme rain same thing for extreme rain then we got extreme drought i would not say it's the extreme same thing uh, but these two are definitely hard perks, so avoid them if you are struggling. TV game, kind of a fun thing, but also pretty hard one. Again, locked with moons, so don't worry too much about it. Birthday suit, you start completely naked. This is not good. You want to start with clothes. Islander, one of the original inhabitants of the island. Doesn't say here, I believe you start with a... Uh, you start with a skirt instead of cloth. You start with... Uh, a spear you start with a, um, a fire maker i believe this one's not super good uh this one will not help you on its own so don't think about it too much the reason why the the islander starting character is good is because he has spear fishing and he's immune to back pain then we have the tourist uh this one starts with some interesting things uh mostly it has a lot of medication there so uh, this might be a good uh, one to pick, but it is kind of pricey, so I would not suggest it at your, your first one. Then we got the military one. Uh, this one's pretty good, but it needs a moon to unlock, so you'll not get it very early. Then we got survivalist, uh, very, very good one. Uh, I, I would take survivalist with my first moon, probably, if I'm struggling with the game. Then we got the YouTube. This is like a fun one. Not gonna talk how to unlock it. You can ask or look on the Steam forums, I guess. But it's a cool way to like unlock it. Also, shout out to Retromation, who is the biggest reason why I even found this game. And <laughs> now I have over 300 hours in it. Yeah, he made a really fun series out of it. If you didn't watch it, watch it. But you will not learn much from it because it's quite old. Uh, supposedly, he will play this game once more once the game gets out. So yeah, if you like uh, Retromation, keep checking his channel. Leg Fracture, uh, a hard one. So this will not help you. So this is for challenging runs, bleeding, same. Pale skin, this is a hard perk. You don't want to be pale, you will get sunburn. Dark skin, this is a really good perk. Oh, I guess uh, you have it available from the start of the game. So we can pick this up, one up. If you make a new character, you can pick this one up for free, probably. A really good perk. It will make your life on the island way, way easier. Then we got a slow metabolism, takes longer to starve. This is an amazing perk. Uh, really good investment if you uh, after like 
20, 30, 40 days, if you were not feeding yourself well, you might starve. This will slow things down a lot in that department. Then we got a uh, fast metabolism. This is a heart perk. This will make you start faster. You don't want this one. You got overweight, start with more fat reserves. Uh, this is uh, similar to this. This one works the whole run. This one just gives you a buffer, but both of them will help you survive for longer. This one is available, it seems like, in the game from the start. So yeah, if you make a new character, pick this one up. It will make the game easier for you. Then we got underweight. This one is the opposite of this one. This one's bad. Then we got obese. Uh, start with high fat reserves, but have a penalty to movement. This one is really annoying. I would not pick it up. Uh, it will make you move really slowly. It will make it hard to not die from thirst. So yeah, avoid this one. Short sighted, uh, bad one available from the start. Lowest your chances of finding good things, especially when not wearing glasses. Uh, this is definitely a bad perk. I mean, bad perk. Uh, a perk which makes the game more difficult, so yeah. Night Vision, amazing perk. Uh, if you can get to two moons, pick it up. It trivializes so much in the game. You can see in the dark, so light and dark doesn't matter for you anymore. Obviously, you will destroy your vanilla base game experience, so once you pick this one up, uh, yeah. You will like, game loses a part of its charm, really. I played a lot with this night vision perk, but uh, mostly because I was running sun allergy, which is like a really, really hard perk. You cannot be on the sun for like for almost no time. You have to hide during the day inside the cave. Uh, but yeah, night vision helps for this one. <laughs> so if you play sun allergy, get night vision as well. Obviously you will not get this uh, <laughs> very early on because they are both locked because behind moons which are hard to get. Then we got specialized kidneys. Uh, this thing trivializes the um, hydration part of the game. You will have to survive twice until day 30 to unlock it. Uh, if you can make it there, you can get this one. But if, if until that point you did not figure out how to hydrate yourself, then this perk will probably like break the game for you. It will just not be the same. So it's good this one is locked behind the moons. Then we got permeable skin. This is one of the, well, all of these, all of these are actually from the mermaid uh, character pack. Makes the game quite different. You can try and play it a little bit. So mermaid doesn't have problem hydrating. It has to rush the, the island cave not to burn on the sun. It can see during the night. So during the night is when she comes out and does stuff. And you also have to like wash yourself very often. It's a pretty fun way to play. She's also carnivore and cannot eat coconut. So yeah, you can play these four perks if you pick the the mermaid. Uh, otherwise, to make your own character have any of this, you will need to survive at least 30 days more than once to unlock multiples of them. For a new player, probably wise to avoid them. Then we got a vegetarian. Makes eating harder since you will not be able to eat meat. So definitely a difficulty perk. Avoid it if you struggle. Same with shellfish. Sailor, uh, this will help you in the end game. I would not suggest to pick this one as one of your first ones. But yeah, immune to sea sickness, this only accounts for uh, sailing with the raft, which is basically how you trigger the end game winning condition. Optimistic, amazing perk, pick it up. I would not say it's very, uh, I would not say prioritize it because the morale will usually not kill you early game, but definitely one of the first one that you will want to pick up to make the game more pleasant for you. Not allergy, a difficulty perk, avoid it. Carnivore, difficulty perk, avoid it. Brave, a uh, cool perk, helps you with the tasks that need courage, like stitching your wounds. If you play well, you will never need this one, but I see on the Steam forums a lot of people ask questions about wound stitching and washing wounds. Well, there are ways to make, uh, to get your courage up in the game. It is not uh, like blatantly clear. You will need to read the game manual to figure it out, but you can uh, like take this perk and not worry about it. Pessimistic, opposite of optimistic, it's a, a difficulty perk, so avoid it. Strong immune system, pretty good perk, uh, you will not have to worry about disease if you take it, unless you do really, really crazy things to your character. Obviously, it's gonna change your uh, experience dramatically. Definitely one of the priority picks if you're struggling. Weak immune system, opposite, don't pick it if you're struggling. Inappetent, slower to get hungry makes eating harder, so it's easier to get malnourished. Um, and glutinous, get hungry faster, makes eating easier, so it's harder to become malnourished. If you're really good at getting food, 
then uh, this one will make the game easier and this one will make harder. If you are bad at uh, getting food, then this one will make the game easier and this one will make the game harder. However, over long terms, this one will make it harder and this one will make it easier. But uh, uh, this is just starting value. So if you eat a lot, these two will not matter in the long term anyway. Then, but uh, yeah, they're a little bit uh, complex and uh, you need to know game a little bit better to fully understand them. So I would say like uh, delay them for later. Then we got bug resistant, really good if you're going into the jungle a lot. I would not say it's like as important as strong immune system, but it's a nice to have one a box will bite you and then if you don't handle it um, you will be demoralized in pain and such but this is like just uh, you know annoying perk i suggest to make your first base on the beach anyway so this shouldn't be too important but yeah a nice thing to have once you pick up all the rest back attractant opposite don't pick it rough sleeper amazing if you take this one you don't need to build any kind of bed because you will be able to sleep wherever you want whenever you want without getting back pain uh, Islander starts with this one, it's pretty amazing, it will like change up your game experience a little bit, so yeah. But definitely if you're struggling with the game and you're making a new character, unlock this one, one of the first ones, it will make things way way easier. Pain tolerance, more resistant to pain, uh, this one's interesting, this one's interesting, I would not say it's a, a priority, because less pain also means less courage, and let's say you get a... Um, Let's say, I'm not sure 100% actually of what I'm saying right now, but I feel like this will make it harder to stitch up your wounds. Not 100% sure. Complex perk, avoid it un unless you know 100% what you're doing. Even I don't know. I totally forgot this even exists. Uh, but if you want to not be in pain so much, pain will reduce your morale. So basically, this would help you raise morale. Definitely would go for optimistic first. Uh, okay, then we got Killer Drones, Advanced Perk, I'm not gonna talk about this one, did not even try it yet actually. Trapper, now, now we get to the, uh, now we get to the skill perks. So there are multiple skills in the game which you level up by uh, just doing stuff. You got Trapper, Tailor, Swimmer, Spearfisher, Spearfighter, Herbologist, Crafter, Cook, Climber and Archer. And they will all uh, start you off with 50 skill in their corresponding areas and that's a lot it might take like weeks for you to get to this kind of level so this will give you a week's heads up on any of these skills here uh, i'm gonna tell you which ones are most important uh spearfisher amazing you'll be able to get fish early on very easily uh fishing is uh easy uh not dangerous activity and you can eat a lot of fish before you can get tired of them. So Spearfisher, definitely one of my favorite ones. Uh, Spearfighter, if you will want to go against the boar and lizards and stuff, you can take this one. But I suggest don't do it. Uh, Herbologist, yeah. Get better at the game first, just avoid the deadly animals. Herbologist, amazing. If you take Herbologist, you will be able to build crop plantations. You will be able to make uh, aloe gel, bug repellent early on in the game without having to harvest a whole bunch of herbs. This one will help you a lot. So these two, amazing. I would take both of them as soon as possible. Then we got Climber, kind of good. It's a little bit of a trap. You can take it. Let's say we take the, the Climber perk here and uh, save our character. So if we start a game, uh, we, it was gonna be way, way easier to climb the palm trees. Let me find one, there we go. A palm tree, you're gonna have 87% chance to climb it and 98% chance. So like getting coconuts was never easier. However, there is still a very small chance that you get yourself hurt. So be warned, this is not 100%. But as your climbing goes up, I think the breakpoint might be at 66% or 60%. I don't know, something like that. Developer said it on the forums, but uh, yeah. I got, I broke my leg on like, I don't know, something, something. So yeah, it's dangerous. But you can start the game, climb a whole bunch of palm trees, get a whole bunch of coconuts and then stop doing it. Pretty good perk, pretty good perk. Just make sure that it's not gonna make you invulnerable. Let me just show if you just create a new character without that perk, how much harder it is to climb the palm trees. 
So if you start a normal character, it's very ill advised to try to climb the palm trees, only 25%. But if you train it, it's going to go up rapidly. So it's probably a good idea to start with this. But be warned, this will take some time and it might get you hurt. You fell and got yourself some ugly scrapes. There we go. An abrasion. I got lucky. It could have been something way worse. So don't climb the palm trees if you don't have a climber perk, that's for sure. Okay, and uh, let's see. The rest of the perks... Um, I think that's it. Archer's pretty cool as well. So, yeah. My top picks, Life Raft. Um, then the free ones, obviously. Uh, dark Skin. So Dark Skin, pick it up right away if you make yourself... Yeah, let's let's pick them. So, Life Raft. Um, birthday Suit, Islander. Tourist, Military. Dark Skin, definitely. It's also free. Uh, slow metabolism. Mm. Overweight. Optimistic. Strong immune system. Rough sleeper. Um, Spearfisher. Climber and Herbologist. So these are the perks that I would go for if you're struggling with the game. All of these will make the game very, very easier. You can decide by yourself which one you will prioritize and which one you will not. Obviously, you can pick this, uh, these two up always because they are available at the start of the game. They're amazing. So if you're making a new character, pick them up. After that, um, after that I will probably go for Life Raft because it gives you some uh, water rations, which do not spoil, which makes it way easier. Um, after that, I will probably go go either one of these, and then like pick the rest up. And uh, this kind of character you can unlock. Uh, you can unlock enough suns for all of these perks by playing for like two hours or so. Just play, play, play. Don't think about too much. Explore, 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 explore. So we'll need like 10, 20, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70. 80. So will not you will need to survive 80 in game days um, uh, to unlock all of these, but not at once. So this can be over the course of, I don't know, 8 playthroughs. And if you play fast, you can survive for 10 days in like 10 or 15 minutes. Obviously, this will not be your experience. You will probably need like 4 to 6 hours to unlock all of this. But as you unlock them, it will become easier to survive. It all depends how fast you play. But that's probably not your goal, right? To just rush a whole bunch of perks. Just play, enjoy the game, explore it. And uh, all of these are pretty easy to unlock. All of them just need you to survive for 10 days. You can literally start the game, sleep for 24 hours, exit and repeat, and you will be able to like unlock the perks <laughs> but don't do that just play and enjoy okay so yeah my favorite is definitely life raft so i would go for that one first but all of these others are pretty good so i would definitely go for them the rest are also good but uh, just not my personal favorites i think these give way more than anything else if you think i missed a good perk let me know and i will talk a lot a little bit about it why i don't think it's a priority but uh yeah. Anyhow, after that you can go the rest of the good perks. Archer, Cook, Crafter, Spear Fighter, Swimmer, Tailor, Trapper. These are all good perks. Pain Tolerant, Buck Resistant, uh, Brave, Sailor. Um, one of these, whichever you prefer. No, <laughs> one of these, whichever you prefer. Well, this one has penalty to movement, and this one makes you star first. No, not one of these. Sorry, sorry. One of these, one of these. Oh, they are a little bit complex, so maybe not. Uh, let's see, what else, what else? Tourist gives you nice goodies at the start. Islander, you get some items, but not crucial, I think. Also, you don't get the clothes that you can rip off, so, mm, so, so. But I think that's it. These are the perks that will like be 100% positive for you. So th this is what you should aim for. And then after that, uh, this might make it easier if you know how to abuse them. And uh, obviously, there's a lot of uh, there's a lot of perks that are locked behind the moons, which are also good. Uh, so well, didn't I take tourist? Oh, <laughs> right. Uh, 
Some of them cancel each other out, so you cannot be both the islander and the tourist. And the military cancels out each that and survivalist. So you have to pick one of these. You have to pick one of this. I'd say survivalist is the best, so go for it first. And then after that, I don't know, night vision is amazing, trivializes the game. Specialist kindness is amazing, trivializes the game. And I think that's about it. And these two, they're like half-half. Okay, so yeah, the list of perks you should go for, which are good and which will make the game easier. Uh, and that's gonna be it. Uh, <laughs> relaxed experience, minus 18,750 difficulty. So if you have all these perks, uh, there is no game there. It's just a clicking simulator, basically. Like, I don't know what would have to happen for you to die. You would have to like avoid eating. You have to avoid eating to die, basically. <laughs> And you just you can just drink seawater, but uh, yeah. So this will be the perks you wanna go for. If you have any questions, you can ask in the comments of this video or on Steam forums. I will gladly be happy to answer everything. I'm a relatively small YouTube channel, so I have time to interact with my viewers, which is amazing. I love to do it. So yeah, this would be a super easy experience. Okay, so let me know if this video helped you out with uh, starting your game as your first character and uh, what perks to choose. You can always uh, start with Islander. I will just start Islander. He actually has a lot of the perks which I recommended. This one is the top, one of the top picks. This one is one of the top picks. This one's one of the top picks. Uh, this one's one of the top picks. And this one's one of the top picks. And this one's one of the top picks. So <laughs> if you're not sure when making your first custom character, just take as many of these things the Islander has. Try to copy. Just try to copy the Islander. And once you're done, then start picking something else. But definitely I would take Life Raft first because that one just rocks. Anyhow, that's gonna be it for this video. If you enjoyed it, please like and subscribe. In the meantime, I wish you all to have a wonderful day. Do something nice. Enjoy this game. Thank you all for watching. And I'll see you in the next episode. Neomers signing out. Bye-bye.